Hello guys, Keith White on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 150 likes. And if, you, and if you haven't dropped a sub already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me, and also turn those post notifications on. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new signing that we made on deadline day. Sorry, I couldn't um, get round to it because, of course, we had the J Stansfield hype, and I didn't want to upload, um, you know, two videos at the same time because it would it would have like killed the uh, the traction on both videos. But yeah, um, sorry, I, like I said, sorry I'm uh, two days late. But we're going to be, first of all in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, Tomoko um, Iwata, who has signed from Celtic. So this is what he had to, um, well, here we go. Let's get, let's, just, let's get straight into it. Yeah? So he believes he has found somewhere that matches his ambitions and style of play. Um, so, of course, he signed from Celtic, the centre midfield. Uh, um, he's bolstered our options. Of course, Jordan James left. And uh, I think this is, a, you know, from what I've been told and from what I've heard, I, you know, I think this is going to be a great signing. A Celtic fan commented, commented um, on my channel yes, yesterday, last night as well, saying he's absolutely gutted that Celtic uh, got rid of him. So, yeah, um, he's penned a three-year deal at the club and he will wear the number 24 shirt. Um, after um, becoming the 16th summer acquisition, of course, we had 17, the 17th, not long after this. Um, so yeah, this is what he had to say about joining the club. Um, Iwata uh, revealed how uh, conversations with technical director Craig Garner and the gaffer made him certain this was the right destination to continue his career. I felt he, Gardner, in brackets, is a very passionate guy and we want to, and we want to go to the championship together. I want to play for him and get us to the championship and then the Premier League. I know Chris has worked with Ange Postacoglu and Brendan Rodgers. I can fit my football to the football style of Chris. So I came here to play this football. Um, I didn't play so many times, but, it's in, but it is in very, but um, it, it was a very important time for me, sorry. And an experience, it was, ama it was amazing for my career. My strong point is that I am a hard-working player and strong in a duel. And I have a good prediction of the second ball. I want to show this on the pitch. So there we go. There we go. Of course, this signing was announced a couple of days ago. But I think this is going to be... I think he's going to do absolutely amazing, to be fair. We've got him from Celtic as well. Um, central defensive midfielder can also play in a couple of more positions as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. In the comments down below about this signing. Now, the next bit I want to, the next bit of, you know, or the next bit I want to talk about is Jay Stansfield and Alfie May. This partnership is probably going to be the best partnership late league one's ever seen. We've got Jay Stansfield, who, in my opinion, is probably the best player in League One. Let's be honest, he probably is. He, there's no way Jay Stansfield is meant to be in this division. And we've got Alfie May, who scored four in four. These two starting, these two combining. It's just a recipe for disaster for the whole for the whole league, for the whole league. Um, of course, we signed Jay Stansfield um, on deadline day as well, um, and uh, as well as um, Iwata, and um, yeah, that partnership. Of course, we're not going to witness it for a couple of weeks now because we've got an international break. But I think it's the game against Wrexham at home Monday night under the lights, and that's going to be a big big game for Blues. I think these two will. Complement each other. They'll work off each other. They'll be a, they'll be an absolute dream to watch at St Andrews this season. Um, and by the way, that 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 video that Tom Magna did as well, um, the uh, Jay Stans uh, Jay Stansfield announcement video. Sorry, what a video that was! Absolutely perfect. Absolutely brilliant. I think they they longed that out on purpose, didn't they? I, I I believe the deal was done a couple of hours before it was announced. To be fair. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Get that interaction going down below in the comments. Do you think Jay Stansfield and Alfie May will be the best partnership in League One history? Certainly looks that way, doesn't it? And also, what are your thoughts on uh, Tomoko um, Iwata, who has joined Blues um, from Celtic on a three-year deal? Get that down below. Let me, let me know what you think down below. Anyway, let's see if we can get 200 likes. 150 to 200 likes. And uh, thanks for watching as always, guys. And as always, keep bright on.